Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today we're going to identify X and Y intercepts. Now when we talk about the X and the Y intercept, we're actually looking at where your line crosses the X axis if we want the X intercept or the Y axis if we want the Y intercept. Now the X intercept is where your graph is cutting the X axis like right here Notice it's cutting the x-axis at the value of 2. So remember a point has an x value and a y value. So because it's crossing at x is 2, I have a value for x but my y is 0. Over here, I'm finding the y-intercept. This is where my graph cuts the y-axis. So notice I have a value for y, because remember a point has an x value and a y value. And if I'm crossing the y-intercept, I will have a value for y, which is negative 6, and my x value would be 0. And that's it. We have two problems here, and I want to identify the x and the y-intercepts. So because I want the x-intercept, I'm looking to see where my graph cuts the x-axis, which is right here. So I'm cutting my x at 4, and my y would have to be 0. So this is my x-intercept. Here, this is my y-intercept, because this is where my graph is cutting the y-axis. So my y-intercept. Now because it's the y-intercept, I have a value for y. So y is negative 4, therefore x is 0. Over here, I want to find my x-intercept, so I look to see where the line is cutting the x-axis, which is here. So if I had to write that point, my x-value is negative 4, and I can't go up or down, so my y is 0. Over here, this would be my y-intercept, so my x value is 0, and the negative 1 represents my y. So this is my x-intercept, and this is my y-intercept. Okay, last two. And for this one, we're going to also, let's do a review. Let's find a slope as well, because you might need a review. Okay, let's find our intercepts this one right here, this would be my x-intercept. So x is negative 3 and y is 0. So x-intercept is negative 3 comma 0. Okay, we want to find a y-intercept. Where is it cutting the y-axis? Right here. Now you're cutting at 2. That 2 is your y, your x is 0. So my y-intercept is 0 comma 2. Okay, suppose we want the slope. Just a little bit of fun here. Now if you want to find a slope, remember in my previous video, um, we make a triangle and I like to go up because I'm a positive person. So notice I'm going one, two, up. So that's a positive two. And then I'm going one, two, three to the right. So that's a positive three. So my slope is two over three. I'm going to check to see that it's positive. My pencil is going up, so it's a positive 2 over 3. Okay, let's do this again. Right here, this will be my x-intercept. So my value for x is negative 4, therefore y is 0. So I'm just going to draw that line. So my x-intercept for this is negative 4, 0. Okay, let's find a y-intercept. That is where my line cuts the y-axis. So my value for y is negative 3, which means my x has to be 0. Okay, suppose I want to find a slope. You know me. I like to go up and across. So for my slope, and I'm going to write the word slope here because that's not too many words. Well, that's not too many letters, I must say. All right, I'm going up 1, 2, 3, so that's a plus 3. And notice I'm running to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's a negative 4. So my slope, I went up 3, 
and then I ran negative 4 and a positive if a negative is a negative so it's negative 3 over 4 let's see if it's truly a negative slope what my watch my pencil I'm going downhill so it's a negative 3 over 4 so this was exciting we found the x and y intercepts and we threw in an extra just to refresh you how to find a slope good luck on your tests